My name is Derek Shea. My name is Neil Surrey. And my name is Logan Biggerstaff. And we are thrilled to have a chance to show you Cherry Creek High School in action. We hope you enjoy. There are 3,800 students on campus at any given year, each with their own set of aspirations, each with their own unique spark that keeps them moving during the pandemic. So, what is your spark? Is it the perfect dive or the feel of the water rushing as your team cheers you on? Maybe it's the precision of calculations or elegance of a design. And when that light bulb moment hits you, you can't resist to go and apply your knowledge to the real world. It's the swish of a basketball. It's the game-winning point. It's the times you'll have with your teammates, always staying one step ahead of your opponent. It's the save of the goal, the quick dribbling across the field. It's just like what Coach taught. It's the conclusion of the essay, or the sharing of fictional stories. It's the learning of a foreign language, or the overhead serve, the dauntless swing. Sometimes it's the lecture, but other times it's playing with the band, every measure of every piece along the way. As you walk on that field, you remember who you are playing for. It's your friends, your family, it's your Cherry Creek team. It's the occasional masterpiece, whether that's on a screen or on a canvas. Make the art you want to make. Make it dance, make it fly, make it unforgettable, and draw the world's attention to you. Design, build, and innovate to become future engineers. Struggle against your opponent as you try to gain the upper hand. Whatever your spark is, Cherry Creek has just the place to make that spark into a flaming passion. 3,800 students, 247 classes, 58 clubs, 31 sports, one creek, one you. What will you do at Cherry Creek High School? Thank you for watching. And we hope that our video gave you insight into the life and spirit of Cherry Creek High School. But first, we'd like to show you our design and development process, which includes three steps in planning, three aspects in filming, and five steps in post-production. I'll let Logan take it from here. During the planning phase, there were three things to keep in mind for every event that we went to, specifically the angles for shooting, uh, the equipment needed for the shooting, and communicating with the editor for what camera movement would be best. Second, schedule when to shoot according to the availability of people in the community. For example, let's take the campus shot. This was only possible by timing when passing period was and asking campus security for permission to fly the drone. Third, make sure everything we are filming is within COVID-19 regulations and guidelines. There are many challenges we face as a group, specifically having only one of us being able to go to an event or competition. Basketball was notoriously difficult as it was filmed in an indoor environment. Swim and dive was difficult as well because there was a low maximum capacity allowed in the pool area. Even outdoor events such as football and soccer reserve invitations for parents and players. However, once we finish planning the logistics and specifics of a shoot, we then go to the actual filming, which has its own meticulous process. Neil will cover it for us. Take it away, Neil. Thanks, Logan. To get our footage and camera angles exactly the way we wanted, we invested heavily in our filming equipment. The four main pieces of equipment we used included a Nikon D5600, an iPhone 12 Pro Max, a Osmo Mobile 2, and a Mavic Mini 2. Nikon D5600 was the most versatile filming device that we used out of the four. With its ability to choose the ISO, shutter speed, and aperture size and settings, as well as having lenses ranging from 18mm to 200mm, the D5600 was the ideal camera for shooting in low light and for fast movements. Next up, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which we used in tandem with the Osmo Mobile 2. We used the unique sensor shift image stabilization in high dynamic range from the iPhone 12, as well as the wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses. To further enhance the camera work, we also invested in an iPhone gimbal, or the Osmo Mobile 2. This gimbal helped us to have smooth camera movement by keeping the iPhone 12 level at all times. Finally, there's the Mavic Mini 2, a lightweight, portable drone which we use to capture shots upwards of 500 feet. Despite its miniature size, its camera packs a ton of power. It can shoot in clear 4K resolution and at 30 frames per second. It has a wind resistance rating of up to 25 miles per hour. The drone also has intelligent preset modes called quick shots. You can also be used for time lapse and panoramas. Although we try our best to film everything exactly the way we want, every video clip is sent to post-production for editing and refining. Hey Derek, catch. 
Editing may seem like a daunting process, and it is, but let me try to break it down for you the best I can. The editing workflow takes five different steps. Let's start with sifting and sorting. Every file is backed up onto an external hard drive. Then they are imported and organized in Final Cut Pro Media. Afterwards, I would give a rough edit to every sport or class and pair those that I believe would complement each other in terms of perspective. The goal is to give the viewer an immersive experience. When I finish sorting, now begins the story building. There's approximately three hours of footage and I only use about the top 1% of clips. All of the story building is based off of a pre-written script and was drafted and redrafted seven times to give each activity a relatively balanced screen time. The story building process is also when I edit to the beat of the music. Half of the viewing experience is the audio, which is why I added sound effects and voiceover. Many sound effects are subtle, such as how the cheering matches with the beat, or how the frequency of the wind tunnel increases along with the tension of the music. Despite the work put into sound effects, it is also important that we make sure the viewer can hear the voiceover. We accomplish this by lowering the volume of the music, as well as equalizing different audio components. When the team is happy with the overall design, I will introduce animations to a few of the clips. This is done through Photoshop and After Effects. Countless hours were dedicated to learning these two programs in order to really capture the attention of the audience. Finally, when all the clips are set in stone, I will begin color grading to make sure the picture seems more natural and flatter. This is also when I reset the exposure of every single clip to match the high dynamic range setting we wanted to go for. Although there's a lot more details in all three phases of production, unfortunately, our time is up. However, we'd like to end with a final remark. Whether you like planning logistics, or capturing your moment at its peak, or editing frame by frame, you, you can, can find, find your spark at Cherry Creek High School. School.